guys and welcome to Oceanary Scrapbooking this week. Um, so we're doing week 20 and this one's got two inserts and I'll be using the Project Life Noted uh, little mini kit thing. Specialty cards I think they are. So I'll just pick out some cards here just to work out what I want to use. I just um, this week I'm just putting them straight into pockets. I had already sorted the photos out into the pockets just so I knew where they were going. Um, so I'm just going to pop all the cards straight in. Uh, I'm just having a look through those three by fours to see what to use. Some really really cute cards in this kit. Oh, excuse me, that hiccups. Makes it a bit hard to choose what you want to use when they're so cute. So. I really like these cut cutout ones, so I thought they were really good. So I think I go I go with the cutout cards. I think, yep. Um, it's just a little bit, yeah, a little G's there there on that one is a bit messed up. I work out what to use for them where. There's just so many to choose from. I was like, ah. Oh. The thing is, though, for most of it, you get two of each card. But um, other than that, like the gold and the gold, like the gold glitter card and <laughs> words. The gold foil, the gold glitter, and the punch out, like the die cut cards. There's only one of each of those, but um, all the other regular cards, there was like two of each, so I thought that was kind of cool. And there's only one each of the 6x4s. So. They're really cool. Wow, I took forever to take choosing this card. Oh, that one. And I could use both sides of that one because it was nothing in that pocket. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide whether I want to use that on there or not. I've got an idea of what I want to do with that card, but not not entirely sure. When I look at that one, I think I could use the background, but then I decide to. Why waste a 6x4 card when I could just use pattern paper? So I grabbed this um, Amy Tan Stitched Collection 6x6 paper pad, which matches really, really well with this. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, everything matched. I thought, oh, that's awesome. So I find these little cutter parts, and I pull them out, and I'm going to use some of those in some embellishments and things. I'm just looking for some different papers to use behind some of these photos that are printed a bit smaller. Instead of using Project Life cards behind them, I like to use just um, pattern paper for most of it. Just say use, using the Project Life cards for um, as a whole then. I like to use them as a whole usually. So I'm just Choosing some papers at the moment. I don't use all of these papers I'm choosing here. Another really nice cut apart. And that wordy one I didn't pull out, but um, it would be pretty good to use. Oh, Phone going off. Um, always away. So 
So I just uh, grabbing my paper trimmer, I'm just going to trim down some of these papers. Just try and choose something else now. Um, I sort of want something a bit brighter, so pick out a few different ones. I like that floral. I'm not normally a floral person, but that floral print was quite nice. I keep saying that I'm not really a floral person, but I think it depends on the floral print for me. I'm a choosy floral person. Yeah, some I like and some I just ugh, can't stand. I like that little um, Polaroid print too, I thought that was really cute with little hearts in it. I think I use it twice in it throughout the spread. There were just so many to choose from, so many different patterns, I really liked it, would work really well. There was just there was so much to choose from, I was like, ah, which ones? And I always print, when I do my square photos, I always print, um, two sizes but sometimes I don't want one to take up so much space like sometimes I want to add more journaling and other times I don't I just want to add like a little word or two and so I, I and because I print them all on 6x4 anyway I um like I can usually get if I'm doing the 2x2 two two size I usually get like a, quite a few on a on a page on, on one print and I can always get two Three by threes on a on a print as well, so yeah, doesn't hurt to have the have the couple. And then I I get sometimes um with my prints when I've like doubled up on on them like I have here, I um can scrapbook them the the other print that I have. I really really like the photo, so like twelve by twelve layout because it looks really cool sometimes in different sizes. I'm going to do some more 12 by 12 scrapbooking soon. I haven't done much for a little while. Um, a little bit few and far between lately. I'm just trying to see where that green will go. I don't really like the look of the green like behind the pink on that one. So I'm just going to choose another colour. Go with this yellow print instead. I do have to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> so I just look past it then. Like I said before, I do pull out more and then, yeah, I don't use all of them. But that, that yellow one goes quite well behind that. Just set my extra photos aside. So I'm just looking at which ones I've got done. Just need to do those three now. Now, this is a really long video, guys. I hope you stick around to the end because it just... I just couldn't, I tried to cut it down as much as I could, but oh, it was just like, no, I'll just leave that in, and it's like, so much decision process, I think, I left in, but it's good to see that sometimes, I think, so yeah, sorry, but it does get a bit boring with me, you know, I'm in an hour, you know, the different things, but um, it's, it's the way I scrap, so I guess, you yeah. know, jump forward if you really want. Uh, so don't mind. It's just cool that you're watching it. Oh dear, I'm even on board. Okay. <laughs> oh, so June. We're in June. First week of June. Got lots of plans. I haven't. It's winter here in Australia, which for me in Townsville means it's just dry. We don't get rain doesn't really get cold, it's just 
nice actually. <laughs> Pretty lucky actually. Although it's a bit grey today. It's not rainy or anything, it's just grey. It's hot still outside, muggy. <sighs> Hopefully my baby will be sleeping for a bit and I can actually get this recorded because she'll probably wake up halfway through. Just the way. Um, radio. We're just checking through now, making sure I've got all the bits and pieces. Oh yeah, I decided to check out there was a project I've cut in there, so I decided to move it out and just use some paper pat and paper instead. I just like to make sure that I'm balanced with colours and things. And cue the baby. You should be awake soon. Alright, I'll be right back with my voiceover. And I'm back. So I stamped out um, the week 20 title on this little bit of scrap paper and just added in some pen around the edge of it and just said popping it up on some foam tape. Now in between shootings of this I actually um, recorded a small video on how I make these little funky faux flares. Um, and so you'll be able to check that out very soon um, and yeah so I'm just now trying to work out whether this will work on here just moving them around looking at all the different ones that I made I just used the um, scraps from my from the 6x6 paper pad and um, made the little flare and now I've got instant um, embellishments that match so Really cool if you can get your hands on some of those enamel dots, um, do so because they're awesome. Um, yeah, so now I'm just having a look at through. This is a uh, what is it, Casecraft um, embellishment pack. I think this is either XO, I think that's XO embellishment pack, might not be, can't remember. I've got two and I can't remember which one's which. But um, I didn't use any of it anyway, I'm not on that piece anyway. Um, so you now I'm just trying to find something that will work in the middle of this, just to tie all those little little images in together on the collage. Um, I'll go with this little gold foil heart. Just something simple, just to just to tie tie them in a little bit. messing about with placement and things. Just using my glossy accents just to stick it on. Yep, yeah, that's all I'll do for that. Now I'm popping them straight back in the um, pocket page. I don't normally do that. Just tidy up a little bit. I made a big mess. Trimming down this little, I think that's a 2x2. Two two. There, so I'm just trimming that down. I just grabbed those little cutter parts and um, lots of different cutter part pieces. And I like these little sort of, sort of like little journaling spots, really mini ones, title spots, I guess. They're kind of cute. So just find one that will work. Sort of make this little like, collage-y piece. So I just grab my tape and just stick it down. Not quite in the right spot there, so I just move it around a bit. So it needs to be moved up a bit. That's it. I'm 
just trying to work out what to do. Oh, I'm looking at some of those um, craft stickers, but none of them would work. So, let's see what else we've got. Okay, here's, oh dear, excuse me. I had a very late night. My baby didn't um, go to sleep very easily last night, so I was up very late, and then I was up really early this morning, so you have to excuse me if I keep yawning. Oh, that's right, yep, kitchen stickers. Um, I found these at Kmart. They are in the sta they were in the stationery section, but they're um, designed as kitchen labels. A lot of them have um, like these like spice labels and things like that on them, but um, a lot of blank ones in there. So yeah, really cool to use. And even like the ones that do have labels like spice things on them and that, um, you could quite easily like stick something over them and make them make them work. So it's kind of cool. They're very thin though, I've found though. Sort of a little bit, a little bit see through. Just cutting out some of the cut cut parts. Oh yeah, just trimming that one down a bit, making it fit on there. Just adding a bit more pen. I'm just using the um, just a small thin pen line just around things, just to tie everything in a little bit and just um, ground everything. Popping the photo up on some foam tape just to give a bit of dimension, just so it doesn't look so flat. I want to use a flare. I think I do. Yeah, Could put it there. I'm just adding some journaling. Don't do a great deal of journaling in this spread, but um, just enough just to so you know what's going on. I think because it was very photo heavy, I just didn't really add many, add much generally. And because a lot of the photos were all from the same sort of thing that was happening, I didn't really need to do too much. So just trimming that um, right down, I got rid of the white border on that photo. Um, that's a 3x3 three three photo. By getting rid of the white board, it just makes it fit on the three on the three by four card a little bit better. Add some washi tape. I'm just looking for something to go at the bottom there. I go with another flare. It was just the coat was just a little bit tight in the pocket, so I just trim it down a little bit. I'm just trying to work out some placement. I decided I want to kind of cover up a little bit of the background in the photo that wasn't necessary. And I'm using some of these uh, flower garlands, or looking at using the flower garlands, garlands and things. Um, pretty sure that's the XO collection. Just have a look. I can't quite remember. I didn't write it down.
Yeah, that is the XO collection. And the other one that I was using as well, a little bit tired of, is the All That Glitters collection as well. So they're the Kaiser Craft collectibles, they're called, which are basically the little die cut packs. So or XO and All That Glitters. Quite nice, uh, only got a little bit of floral in them, and they're heavily floral. Nice words and things to use as well. And those cute little birds that I use there as well. It's really cute. I'll just add the journaling on. Last, last card on that, on that uh, side, on that sheet. Just looking at some of those stickers, label stickers. Don't think oh, I might use. Yeah, no, it looks like I do go with one of those. Just a nice grey. Now just trim it off, and I all the ends that I trim off on those, I um sit them aside because I can always use them again. Somewhere else is just like a little bit of embellishment. And it just ties in the other, ties it in a little bit. I'm just adding some some of these word stickers that I make myself. They are um, available at my Etsy store, so be sure to check that out. I'm going to have hopefully some more soon. I've got to work on them, but um, so hopefully I'll have another range of those out very soon. I'm just trying to decide whether I want to do anything to that cut apart cut out card. Um, I'll just leave it for now. Just add a flare to this card, although I realise I need to trim that um, that photo. It's not straight. <laughs> I do go to stick it on, and then I realise that that wasn't straight, so I um, I fix that up. I must have cut one apart really badly at one stage. I know a few of them are a bit crooked. I'm just looking at any more of those words to guess. Handy thing is though, I can generally have any word sticker I want because I make it, making them myself, so it's really handy. Not sure what I'm doing. Probably could have cut this part out. <laughs> oh, the joys of editing. Oh well. Moving on to the next one. No, maybe. Do I add anything? Sorry about the off screen, I keep checking, I keep forgetting to check where I am on the camera. Oh no, um, I need to mark out my board, or my, my board or something, my work surface somehow, so I know the best alignment, because I'm just, oh, shocking at getting things off camera. See, here I am again, working off camera, and I go, oh yeah, I'll move that. Uh yeah, I was just using some of these, um, these are stickers from Studio Calico, one of their Project Life kits, I can't remember which one, um, either April or March or April, don't think it was May's, because I haven't really, I don't think I've actually used May's yet, but I just, um, yeah, just put IMG on that one, my, my daughters took off walking for the first sort of time with pushing something, so, I was like, oh my god, and I managed to, I had the iPad in my hand, so I snapped a couple of photos. And my son got busted, he meant to be going to bed and go to sleep, and instead, so my husband could hear him mucking about, so I snuck in with the camera, and just started snapping photos. <laughs> that actually turned out really good. He yeah, definitely like the total look of busted on his face. It's like yeah. So that's that's the title for this one. I just put busted because it. Every now and then, and um, we might, you know, just sneak in on them when the, and then. To start recording what they're doing, like with a video camera, which is gonna be quite funny, <laughs> just when they don't realise it. They know damn well that they're meant to be in bed asleep and they're just messing about.
another one of the flares. So cool to be able to have them that just you know instantly match everything. You know, you don't have to worry too much. Let's move on to this card. This is um my daughter. I was laying in bed. My daughter woke up beside me. She was lying in bed, sleeping beside me. And she woke up and just <laughs> just crawled on top of me. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let's have a photo. It's kind of cute. She just sort of laid there for ages on top of me. Like with a head against mine, and I've got the photo in the wrong way there. How do you realise and fix it? Yeah. It's kind of cute. I still haven't fixed it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And I think I was just laying down reading a book on my iPad, I think, so I snapped a couple of photos. It's kind of so cute. Just add in that uh, little line of pen and just using some of those cut aparts just to make up this one. Put some foam on this one just to prop it up. Add some word stickers as well. Some of the longer sentences I think on this one. And I think while recording this, I came up with so many different word, more word stickers that I could make, and I should have been writing them down because, oh gosh, there were just so many more I wanted. I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> so I'll have a good go later and see what more I could come up with. I'm thinking I'll do different themes, so like children and family, and maybe, maybe pets one or something, and seasons, or I don't know. Lots of different ones I could do. I might do a Christmas, special Christmas one for for Christmas, so just have to wait for that one. I don't want to release it too soon. Um, yeah, so I used another one of the, the kitchen stickers. I just right, put being silly equals, and the next one obviously is busted. Yeah, just on that, um, just found that uh, cutter, the uh, die cut card was um, just a little bit plain, so I just added a little bit of the, the pen around the edge and just to tie it in with the other cards and things. And I just stick it on that um, bit of paper and I just trim around, around the outside just to cut down that excess so it doesn't look weird with the, the yellow sticking out around it. I'll go back to this one as well because I decide that one just looks a bit blah or, or boring. So, so I look at the, I grab that flare and just um, just pop that on on it as well. I can't remember whether I have other things. Yes. Oh yeah, a little tab at the top. Now the excess bits that I cut off before, but I don't like all of them stacked up, so I just go with one. And it's not straight, so I fix it. Oh, I'm shocking at getting things straight. This is really all I do is either straighten things up or. Uh, oh well. So that just makes it tie in a bit more. Moving on to the next pocket. I really like these little inserts as like little accents points, like, you know, just the extra photos throughout the week instead of adding like two or three full size pages, just adding a couple of those little small inserts just for something just for those smaller photos and things. I think it's handy. But I think in my catch up video, I think I've got one that's got so many photos in it, I need like I think I use like three different um smaller insert pages to go in it. But um yeah, because it's because I had heaps and heaps and heaps of photos. I thought this one was going to be that bad, but I, I managed to cut it a lot out because I'm going to scrapbook a lot of those 12 by 12 because I a lot of these photos are from a photo shoot that I did um, in the park one day. So yeah, just with my family. I just messed about trying to learn my camera a bit more. I've had it for years now, but you know, I still always learned a bit more. 
take it off automatic and use manual mode for a change. Just adding a couple of little highlights to the photos just here and there, just a little bit of embellishment. Just makes them all look like they're meant to be there and not just shoved in the pocket. Using another one of the 2x2 two two photos. Just trying to find something that will work for this one. This one I cut out some of that um, zigzag. You can't really see. I brought it back on camera for a second and then it, bam, it's gone again. I've got to have a look at where my camera records because I swear I looked at that and made sure I was on camera, but I must have just moved it back off screen as soon as I, as soon as I looked back down again, I must have felt like I must have moved it off screen. I will endeavour to fix that because that is so boring for you guys to be watching me do things that aren't even on screen so you can't really see it, it's just a thing. Yeah, so I cut this little border out, no. anyway, you still can't see it. Hopefully I'll show you at the end. Oh yeah, stick the photo under part of it. Just a little zigzag it is, with the pattern of the card. Pop up that on the phone and pop it on. Do I show? Do I show? Oh no, adding in pen. Will I show you? Maybe? No, nope, you're not lucky enough to see it. <laughs> Good thing I did close ups at the end, eh? Hey? Oh gosh. Um, so this is actually, this card here is uh, glitter, gold glitter. And I just wanted to add a, a charms in creation embellishment on that one. Just one of the hearts. Oh, here we go, some close ups really quickly. I should have slowed that down. Oh yeah, so I found this um, little um, punched out camera and I found it in my scraps of things, bits and pieces. And I thought that is like one inch and I checked and then, yeah it was and so I thought why not turn that one into one of the flares as well. So I stuck the flare top on it, so the, the epoxy sticker and bam, instant flare. Right. That's kind of cool. In through my words. One of these words packs up like lots of words because one's a prototype and the other one is um, just one that didn't turn out very well. I cut right through parts of it so I couldn't sell it. So it's um, I kept to keep it, which is kind of cool. So. Yeah, so I've got a couple of the packs of words, but um, I'll hopefully have them. Like I said, I keep saying, I'll hopefully have more in the store soon. I hope I'm going to have a few other things in the store as well, but um, some different embellishments and things to put in there as well. So hopefully you'll be able to have a look at those and be really cool. Um, yes, yeah, Studio Calico chipboard I'm using there, um, just out of one of the Project Life kits. That's the way it captured. I use one other one somewhere too, I think. My husband doing the buddy buddy Christ pose. Use a bag. Try and take a sensible photo and no, no. Oh, I'm basically. Oh yeah, I mess around with this one for a fair bit. I end up Yeah, I end up changing a fair bit, not using some of what I've decided to use and Yeah. You'll see what I do.
Putting the pin around the edge. Just kind of fold it down. Playing with that card still. And I'm cutting out the heart. Yep, once again, off camera. I really got to sort this out. I just meant lining that up just to see what it would work. I don't use it. I set all that aside. <laughs> we go with something else. Oh no, I stuck that on there. Okay. That says you make me, and I think it says happy and crazy. Oh yeah, I stuck the little and symbol on it. Just happy and crazy, and it was like, you know, pick one, but I was like, no, nah, you make me both. <laughs> That's right, switch it out for some journaling spot. There we go. Oh yeah, trying to find the which pen. I've got four pens and they're all different thicknesses. I like to use the really thin one for my journaling, especially when it's only small. So I was like switching them out here, there and everywhere, trying to work out which one was which, and I realised it was out of my desk anyway. Lighting up the photos. Just going through my uh, Studio Calico stuff. Embellishments to see what I've got there to use. Look at this chipboard, but it's, it doesn't work, it gets lost on the page. So, sure, if it was on camera, you'd see me doing a lot of finger tapping. <laughs> I think I, yeah, I stopped and went back to it because I just couldn't decide. So, I just I grabbed some uh, washi tape. Oh my god, words. So yeah, just stick a bit of washi tape on it. Um, just looking through these embellishments from my um, EXO collection. And see whether any of them work, but they're a little bit too big for the space that I had. So I actually grabbed the, all the this collection and grabbed the little butterfly out of it and uh, stick that on. But I messed around with placement a fair bit before I actually stick it down. And I used to get a little word sticker on it as well. Oh, it says play. I have just had a look at the last few flare that I've got that I made up and just trying to work out if I want to use any. So I'm just having a look at them, seeing what I've got, work out placements of things. Not that you can really see it on camera, because once again I'm off camera. I can just say that. So I've got love on that one. And I think I'm going to put something on the other one. Which you probably can't see. I'm doing something. I'm sure it's interesting. I'm sure any moment I'll show you. Or not? No? no? Maybe just move on. Yeah, you'll see it at the end. <laughs> Alright, so this card, I wanted to do something different with this one. I sort of had a bit of an idea of what I want to do. But I, mean, I changed my mind like a thousand times. As you do. So I decided I want to cut into that card. And I want to cut the little flag sort of part out. I was trying to look for my good craft knife, but I have no idea where it's gone, so I just, I'll use this one. It's uh, slightly rusty, unfortunately. So I need to change my blade on it. Just with the humidity up here, it's going to rust really quickly. So I want to kind of pop it under there, but that photo just doesn't quite work for it. 
I'll grab another photo and try it for that in a second, but go back to the, the other one. Just that doesn't work either, unfortunately. So I go with a different tack and put the photo on the other side and cover up that today in the journaling spot. Before I stick the photo down, I come up with this cool idea and I'm going to cut out part of the part behind that photo where the photo goes. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Oh no, cutting out, cutting out parts there, yeah. Just seeing what works. Oh yeah, those um, chipboard hearts, they came from, I think, another December, December last year's kit, or maybe January's kit, I can't remember. Project Life, Studio Calico kit. Yeah, so here I, that's right, I cut out the part, back part, I just wanted a square and I just want to punch another circle so I can make another one of the flares from that and then I've got it matching basically whatever else I do with that, um, that noted kit then, it will match pretty much anything there, so that's kind of cool. Oh, I'm trying to get the backing off this chipboard, ah! Such a pain. I always seem to do that on um, chipboard stickers, just peel away the wrong part, not the backing part. End up peeling into the into the um, chipboard. So that one is just all XOXO on it. So what have I got to do? One more? Yeah, this last one. So I just add um, chipboard word on this one from Project Life kit. This is perfect. And that's it. That's the lot. Um, I will leave you now with some close-ups. Cheers. Bye.